Hey business owners, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you can have your business and your sanity too. Hey, I'm Corinne, digital marketing expert and CEO of Corridor Consulting Company. I am passionate about helping business owners achieve their goals without all the stress. In this video, I wanna talk more about one of the mental effects that nobody likes to talk about when it comes to owning a business, burnout. business owners like myself struggle with juggling so many things at once it's really easy to get bogged down and burn out really fast so so today I'm bringing on one of my own team members so we can have more of a conversation around this and figure out how to tackle burnout hey Sarah thanks for joining us today tell us a little bit about what you do here at Corridor hey Corinne thanks for having me here um, I'm a social media manager with Corridor Consulting and um, we all have heavy workloads uh, at our jobs but this is just kind of some tried and true methods that we've come up with that help us manage our work-life balance. It, it's easy to kind of get in the groove of just like running by the fly, but like I promise as soon as you do the hard work of getting organized, everything else will just kind of fall into place. All right, the very first point is um, you gotta get organized and you gotta write it down. So we use a lot of tech tools at Corridor, both, um, well, tech and tangible. Yeah. One of the first things I had to do to make sure that I was communicating what I needed from everybody was to get a system in place, get it super organized and make sure that all of our task management programs were set up um, as well as some of the chat systems we use. Yeah, so there's lots of different tools out there that you can do your own research for, but what we've decided works best for us are Asana, Google Business Suite, Slack, Discord for our community management, mm -hmm. Canva, Canva is a big one, and then Wix CRM. Absolutely. And I think what's really important to mention is that all of these are super accessible and really affordable for any new business owner. Yes. I, I like that it has options where you can, you can start out free and then you can, as you build your business, you can take advantage of more of the paid tools. That's true too. All right, so now we know what we have as our basis, how we manage our workflows in the day-to-day, -day, but I wanna know, Corinne, what does a typical day in the life look like for you when you manage your individual workload? Systems and processes are huge here. So I like to write things down. I have a rocket book, which I love. I live by it. I keep it next to my bed. I take it to work <laughs> with me. It goes everywhere with me. Key tip. For anybody I just write things down I, otherwise you'll be repeating things over and over in your head so that you don't forget things this just helps me get all my ideas out on paper and gets it out of my brain and then I can put it into a system later on to delegate out if I need to that's awesome and the rocket book is the thing where you write it down on a physical yes. piece of paper and then it uploads to your phone right you take a picture of it with a QR code at the bottom and it will scan anywhere you want. I usually save them to my Google Drive, but yes, never lose a note again. I it's I live by it, I swear. I have a That's so cool. Like <laughs> what about you? I know you have a super heavy workload. What are some of the tools that you love? Yeah, so I mean, a day in the life, I um we use Google Sheets at Corridor to manage all of our social media calendars. Yes. So that's um that's where I live all day. Um, we we actually have a social media template that y'all can use. Um, it's free to download. So go to corridorconsultingcompany.com slash shop nice. <laughs> and you'll be able to find it. It's, it's top notch. What I do is I just kind of like open up all of the calendars that I need to manage that day. And um, I use this thing called um, Pomodoro and it's this work technique where you um, you have two timers. You can use an app or you can use physical timers, which is what I do. And it has, basically you have a 25 minute timer and you work and you hyper-focus. And then um, when that timer's up, you get a five minute break, you follow that. And I think I need the uh, sense of urgency <laughs> to get things done. I never realized this about us, but both of us really have a, akin to this old school technique kind of thing with you with the, the actual kitchen timers and me like to write stuff down. We have all this tech, but I still like the old school stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like I still have plenty of um, my little paper lists and yeah. 
Um, oh, and also um, stickies, both physical stickies and desktop stickies mm -hmm. are really good ways to get organized. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, and you know what else is really cool about some of the desktop, st desktop stickies? <laughs> both of us are Mac girls, right? So yes. Apple products all the way. Don't you just love the syncing features so we can just access it from our Mac or our iPad or our phones or wherever we're at? Yes. I love that too. That's I've awesome. used... Yes, I've used like both Windows products and um, and Apple products for social media management tasks and Apple wins. Like being able to copy on my computer, then paste oh. on my iPad. Genius. It's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can go back. <laughs> awesome. So speaking of work-life balance, one of the reasons that I love being a business owner is that I can create any type of work culture that I want. So one of the reasons that I left the corporate America was because I had a lot of personal things going on, a lot of health things, plus my husband was starting a new business at the same time. I needed to be able to control my own schedule. There was just way too much going on. I couldn't create my work-life balance. I was just working a lot and some things were just falling to the side. Um, so that's actually how I got into marketing. I could do it any time of day from anywhere in the world. Um, and I thought it was really important to set up a work culture where other people could thrive off of that type of work environment as well. And so then we started Corridor. And when I hired on my first couple of people, I knew that this was something that was gonna have to be really important and front of mind because I realized that we are working with human beings here and they do have lives outside of work. Um, so how about you? What do you, how do you feel about working in marketing and owning your own schedule. Does that work well for you, Sarah? Yes, that that is actually how I got into, well, not the same, but I got into marketing as well because I think it was one of the first, well, not one of the first, but one of the industries that where you could do remote work. And so I'm actually a caretaker for my mom and she's disabled and she's in a wheelchair. So I really need the flexibility to be able to like go to doctor's appointments take her to the grocery store when it's not crazy and hectic and people are gonna run over her. Um, and that, and so I actually started out doing freelance and then as Corridor grew, I was, it was really nice being able to just like step into this new position and a new work-life culture that works for just being a human. Um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be that the old corporate way I don't think anymore. And I think this past year has kind of proven that in a lot of industries. Yeah, I think this past year has really proven how possible it is for people to kind of manage their own schedules and still be very productive. Um, and I also really love that I could be working from my bed or the beach or the mountains or from wherever. And you wouldn't even know the difference because I can use my phone <laughs> to operate from pretty much anywhere. As long as I have Wi-Fi. <laughs> We've all had to do what we needed to do with a hotspot. Yeah, I know how hard it can be when you're trying to find time for yourself and manage a business and a family and a heavy workload and all the other things. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to do everything. It's, it's really important to remember um, and recognize when you're feeling overwhelmed or un underproductive that it might be time to bring in some help. Yeah, I think when, at least for a lot of business owners, when you first start a business and you're just beginning to grow, there's a pressure to do everything. You have to learn a lot. You have to learn about accounting, HR, um, client communications and that is great but once you've got into a point you shouldn't have to do that anymore sometimes it's okay to hire out for help or you don't or if you and if you don't you might just put yourself on a road to burnout and you won't be productive at on the thing or the reason why you started your business in the first place that's a really good point. Yeah. I don't think any of us, myself included, I did not start my business to do all of the accounting <laughs> and the QuickBooks and all of that stuff. I'm not even really good at that. So why why focus so much energy and time on having to do that when that's not what I'm even good at? So I remember when I first um, met you, I had reached out to one of our fellow colleagues asking her if she knew anybody that could help me with social media and she recommended you. Um, and that was maybe the best first decision I ever made for my <laughs> business because it took a huge weight off my shoulders and, and just us being able to communicate to each other um, and having a second set of hands to manage my workload, just I, I can't recommend it enough.
Yeah. And now like two years later, since I slid into your email, um, there's, um, we have five members and, um, we That's all great. bring something different to the table, which has just been a breath of fresh air. Truly. Yeah. I'll, I'll always remember this. When I worked at a bigger agency, I had a client that told me, I don't have to always know everything, but I do need to know who the F to call. And that just stayed with me. <laughs> um, I, I always try to keep that at the back of my head now, knowing that I don't have to know everything. I just have to put the right people in place to make it happen. Yeah, exactly. And it, it goes the same for like the service we offer. You don't have to know the ins and outs of marketing social media I think there's people think that social media is something that anybody can do because we're all on it but that's not necessarily the case when you're running your business so you just need to know when to hire help so um with all that being said basically the more organized you are the more you write it down the more you communicate the more the more you delegate the easier it will be to avoid that dreaded path to burnout that so many business owners know so well. <laughs> Communicate with your team members or, you know, the company that you've hired to help so that you can keep your vision on the right path. I think it's really important to remember the communication part. Um, so yeah, take some of these tips, apply them to your business and just let us know how it goes. And if you need help with any of that, give us a call. We can help. Yeah. So before you go, everybody, um, we're going to leave you with this last tip. You don't have to be an expert in everything. Hire people to do what they're good at. And that's all. <laughs>